What was the other guy's name? What? Who? Good. Good. Thank you. We brought, uh, we did. We bought mostly, uh, Kathy did bring one, one three seven five. Um, I still, I am still shooting uh, Mr. B's uh, seven millimeter Weatherby. Weatherby, yeah. I brought that over here. Um, I've got my bottle still. Um, and I, after this safari, I'm going to uh, mount it up on the wall. I've, uh, I bought a new scope um, that has the laser finding in the scope. Uh, I haven't, that's why this is what I want to put on the, on the new guy. Did you a, a, a cartridge which I've really got to like in later years. It hasn't been out all that long. Is it 338? 338. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, you know? It's got the bigger antelope particularly, things like elan, zebra, bull beast, sable. Uh, it's got that little extra 250 gram bullet that the 300 hasn't got. It's an excellent and it shoots really well. Mm -hmm. I really do like the 338. I think it's a fantastic rifle. So if you do think of buying another rifle, yeah. just check out that 338. You've got a good range of bullet, uh, bullet weights, 210 which shoots very flat, yeah. up to 275. The 250 is the, is, the, is the best weight for the 338. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Can't, can't have less. With a solid, with a 338, I've shot many, many buffalo, no problem with that. So certainly, on, I mean, you could shoot it for elk and deer as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah maybe on the lighter. Yeah, you've got a very good range of bullet weights for the 338. Uh -huh. So has hunting changed a lot since when you took their great grandfather out? You know, it's much more sophisticated the camps now. But the hunting is very much the same. There's still a lot of game, but the concessions are much smaller. When the, the first safari we were out, we had an area of 120 miles by about 40 miles that we could hunt in. Now the areas are much smaller, and you sometimes have to have a GPS when you're tracking a line that you don't get into somebody else's ah. area. You know? ah. So there are those constrictions. But there's still a lot of game, and it's still the wild Africa, really. To remember the generators, you had no lights after 8 o'clock. Sounds like I had safari lodge. Did you spend the night before we started the safari? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably island safari oh, okay. lodge, and they may have had some cheetah, which I've forgotten. Okay. That's all. It's still going, island safari lodge. I took a good look at the picture and zoomed in on everybody oh. on your... Because no, I recognize you and you. No, I didn't recognize you because as you were 17. And a lot more hair back. <laughs> <laughs> there she looks so well. Her hair is so Very good skin. And, yeah. and she's gorgeously dressed. And I mean... Oh, she looked really and good. And she's, what, 87? 86. 86. 86. Wow. She looks tremendous. She slowed down a little. She usually only comes into the office three or four days a week now. Well, we're in our 80s and we have somewhat slowing down. <laughs> I think the brakes start putting on when you get to around 70. Oh, 70? I, the old like start. <laughs> I don't know, 50 is good. I was still hunting it to 75. I yeah. quit it in 2000 okay. when this went wrong. Yeah. I guess I, and I was just talking to Joe a little bit yesterday. He said, if you get up by the headwaters um, in October, you can still do pretty well. We're right up at the very top. Yeah. But apparently, the, up, we're staying uh, on a little island of Impalila. Impalila in, in or Impalila? Right across from Kasani. Yeah. It's actually in Namibia. And um, this is supposed to be a really good time of year. Uh, there's, some very, there's some good ones there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's good fishing. So it seems to me they go after the young tiger fish to eat. Mm. And the red and white spoon is you know, quite a big spoon, about yeah. a four inch spoon. I just brought a few things of my own for the fun of it. This is the um, this, uh, woman by the name of Cindy Garrison, who's uh, she's been <coughs> doing a lot of photography um, uh, and, and fishing photography up here, uh, because I, is the one, she's the one that, that uh, booked me with Yachingo. But I do have some red and white hair razors. <laughs> yeah, that seems to what they go for mostly. Yeah.